this working? OK. Um, this is much more front endy than the previous presentations. I'm going to talk about Django Docker Engine, which is a, uh, a Python package for Django available on PyPy. Uh, with oh, uh, um, it's a Python package on PyPy for Django, which lets you transparently include uh, containerized visual visualizations as part of a larger Django application. Um, the motivation, uh, we've been working on Refinery Platform, which uh, used Galaxy for long-running workflows. And as we became more interested in offering visualizations to our users, we wanted something that offered that same kind of abstraction, but needed to be different, that we wanted to be able to start up more quickly. We wanted it to be, offer more interactivity. And we weren't interested in having output files that needed to be persisted. Um, particular challenges, how do you install a particular visualization, how is input provided to it, and how should it authenticate users, particularly when you're working with different frameworks. Um, our solution is to sort of package together the Docker API and a proxy server, and then for each visualization we want to offer, containerize it. Um, so we offer just a subset of the Docker API for starting and stopping containers. Um, the package is responsible. You pass it in a dict, and it changes that into JSON, which it mounts. Um, and then as requests come in, the U URL uh, has the container name, and that gets proxied to the appropriate container. And then we can rely on Django to provide user authentication rather than having each visualization responsible for that. Um, there are a few different configuration choices. I've highlighted the ones that we've made that we're using in production, but different environments might use a different setup. So for instance, where should the containers run? In development, it's easier just to do it on the same host that you're running on, but as both the visualizations and uh, the main application become more processor intensive, you probably want to separate those. Um, how should input be passed? If it's running on the same machine, it's easiest just to mount it. Um, um, the environment variable is an, another possibility as uh, if it's running on a separate, separate machine, but that uh, could run into a limit depending on the size, if it's particularly large data, or you can just pass in a URL which points to JSON. And finally, how should the routing work? Um, probably the most robust thing would be pass it through a subdomain uh, in the URL, um, but that requires special DNS setup, um, and we can do this in uh, in the path. Um, the Django Docker Engine itself is very minimal, but just sort of takes the deck which you provide and translate it into JSON. If you want to reuse the visualizations that we've made, or you'll have multiple of your own, you probably want to decide on some convention, either ours or your own, uh, and then build on top of that. What does it actually look like? Um, so this is when you check out the repo and run it, uh, there's a built-in demo with some sample data. Um, you get a screen that looks like this. You can provide a container name, uh, choose data or upload your own, choose the tool that you want to launch, and hit launch. Then you get a please wait screen. Depending on how much initialization needs to be done, behind the scenes it's waiting for a 200 to come back from the container, so start up the container and actually get a reasonable response. And when that happens, it comes up. Then. Uh, your application, and depending on how you're doing this, this might be something that you manage explicitly or that it's some timeout system that you manage, but you have the option to kill the container, and then it's not there anymore. Um, so this solves some problems. It doesn't solve every problem. If your visualization is stateless, if you want to match many different libraries or different visualizations, it's a good solution. If each visualization is loosely coupled to application, it's a good solution. If it's read-only, um, and if the visualization requires it, requires its own backend. Conversely, if it's um, going to be heavier weight, if it's JS only, it's overkill. Um, and if you have more questions, you can see me at the poster session. Thank you.